Hello crafters, it's Gareth from Juice Creations and welcome to today's video. As you can see there's an array of bits and bobs on my table. I'm going to be using this twin pack um, kind of aged frames that I got from the from Pound Store, uh, from Poundland. And we're going to create the bigger one of this. And on the bigger one it's going to have he has. So it's a cross as you can see. And uh, I'm going to do a bigger version inside this for you on, on uh, in the tutorial today. So I've got those twin packs from Poundland. You can need some arc glitter glue or whatever glue you prefer to use. Um, you're going to need some cardstock. You're going to need an exacto knife. This is exacto knife. These items here, apart from the pencil and the ruler, are available from my store, G's Embellishment Emporium. I'm going to be using the exacto knife, the back to basic six by six paper pad, true blue. I'm going to be using the square stitched ed edge um, nesting square die set. I'm going to use some foam ta um, double double sided tabs, and I'm going to be using the banner stamp set. So I have cut this piece um, five by seven, and then I have marked an inch in all the way round to give myself a mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my dash marks. And using my exacto knife and ruler, I am going to cut so I have a frame. Now if you have a die that you can do this with, or if you have the new We Are Memory Keepers um, cutter that does this sort of thing, then please use that. I don't, so I'm going to do it this way. So I'm simply going to use my ruled edges and my exacto knife and cut this frame out. Okay, that gives you your frame. Don't throw that away because that's a good piece of size card that you can use for an insert for a card because obviously this was originally 5x7. So I no longer need my X-Acto knife so I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to put this to one side. Now I need to choose what um, paper I want to use. Now I'm going to use the same pad because then the colours are going to be similar because it's from the same pad. So this is the new paper pad which is stocked in my store. Great for Father's Day projects. You get 6x6, 72 sheet pack, 6 sheets of 12 designs. So each design you get 12 sheets. So it's a nice quantity. I come out and use that one. And that one. The dots. And I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to use these three from the paperback. Now I need to do multiple um, die cuts. So for this project I'm going to use the, the three largest and I'm going to do two of each of the sizes. Then for the top of the cross I'm going to use the next three so as it goes up so this is the smallest one then you have this one this one this one and obviously it goes down to these three so I am going to cut out two of each size using the paper and then we can get on to the next stage okay crafters just put in the last of the largest square die through my cuttle bug I have to use two sheets on that one because the uh, largest square is quite a size. It measures, the actual die cut itself measures uh, just over three inches. So that's all those done. Move that out of the way. So I've got two of each of each die cut, as you can see. Just want to show you. So that's what I've got. So let's move these dies out of the way as I no longer need those. And what I am going to do is zoom in slightly. And I'm going to stack these 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 newly cut die pieces with my art glitter glue. I'm going to stack them. So I'm going to put some glue on the back and I'm going to 
stack them into one corner. Is that the next? Oops, I almost missed a, missed a size. So I'm going to stack them to one corner. So they look like that. I should have put the uh, the brown one in the middle because those two are too similar. But never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to have these at the bottom, and then I'm going to have these at the top, and they will mimic the shape of the uh, cross. So they will go in there like that, and these will go in at the bottom so they will mimic the shape of the cross so these ones are cool because I can just glue these straight in but the bottom ones we need to do a bit of trimming so I'm going to put that straight in and I'm going to put that make sure I've got these in the right in the right way yep making sure I'm still on in frame and I am right so that's those now I need to put these in the right place I think I'm going to have that like that so I have a bigger thing what I did last time is I used my pencil just to draw a line here then I knew where I needed to cut it And I then know that this gets glued on the frame itself. And the same for this side. Remember, I want that to show. Line it up. Now you you can obviously use your your board, which is what I'm doing, your mat. Making sure that it's all straight. Okay. And I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to put glue here. And obviously put that. And that needs to go. And then what I could do is I could do some more if these would work, which they don't. So what I'm going to do craft is I'm going to cut some more to go in these spaces here. Because I, I didn't do that on the last one, but I think it looked quite nice. So I'm probably going to use the smallest of the, uh, the smallest three dies. And then I shall stack them. And I'm going to do it in the same papers so let me cut away and do that and then we'll come okay, back so I'm just gluing these three new cuts together I'm concentrating um, to a point here so in one corner so as you see I've done four is it four I did or three no it's four because obviously I've got four spaces one two three get four so I'm simply just gluing these together and then stacking them. And then what I thought I could do with these is instead of having that look so bland, I could put these in. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. So again, back to my pencil and draw where I need to cut it. To the glue and place that over the top. I really like that. That has turned out much better than I envisioned. Envisioned. Making sure you got it placed correctly. Yep. 
cut off the excess, put some glue down and then pop it into place. These will be slightly smaller, obviously. So cut. Oops. Oops. Getting pencil marks on my frame. Don't want that. There may be a simpler way of doing this, but this is how this is how I've um, done this. I mean, I've never never seen this before, but I'm sure it's out there. I just like to play with my with my die sets. I like making things for um for home decor, and this it's very pretty for um for Easter. So again, cutting that. one side now I'm going to go to the tag not the tag the banner and I think I'm going to use this one here because I on my smaller one I have got risen so on this one I need he has he has risen and I think I've got the uh, enough space on there so I think I'm going to use my misty for that get a bit of scrap cardstock scrap and as I don't have a stamp set that says he has I'm just going to use individual um, individual letters from a, an alphabet stamp set where did that hair come from get off right and I'm just going to use memento I use this stamp set a lot. It's great for sentiments on cards and that type of thing. Okay. Oh, did I? Was that blue? Oh well, never mind. It, it still works. I was hoping. I thought it was black, but it's blue. No. I don't want blue. I want black. I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to wipe. Wipe the. Um, I don't want navy blue, it's not nautical themed. I want oops. I want black. Get rid of any excess water. Where is my black? There it is. Okay, let's try again. Let's use black this time. I'm not pressing as hard because obviously I just cleaned it. I don't want it to smudge. So that's why that's a good thing about using your misty. You can go back when you need to. Right, just that space there. And voila. Let me just clean this off quickly. And I'm going to use this to do the he has. So I'm going to get my alphabet stamp. Okay. So I need a H. So that'd be he. And then an E. So he. Let's see if you have them the right way, Gareth. E. Again, back to clean that stamp because I don't want it to. Uh, Okay, so he has H. 
H A H A S. Okay, okay, so do the can I do this all together? He has I think I can get them all on there together. Okay, using the Westcott scissors which are also available from my store, I'm going to cut this out. And then on the edges I'm going to use some uh, Sharpie just to give it a crisper edge. Right, bring over the frame. glass out for a second put the frame over this the inner this is what comes with the frame and I'm just going to do a very light mark of where the center of the frame is and I'm going to put some glue on the back of this the cross we created going to pop it into place and then I'm going to have this go across and I'm simply just going to put two maybe three of the square foam dots on the back oh, three came off there so I'll just use them and I'm going to put that across there like that Put the glass back in. And it still works even with the uh, the foam dots. Move everything out of the way. Oh, it's crooked. Let me center it correctly. Glass, stay in place please, thank you very much. And there we have two lovely cross paper art home decor pieces this one I didn't do the crosses there and I think uh, it does it does look different but um, I do prefer the ones with the with the triangle pieces in there but there we go can you imagine how nice these would look on a on an Easter greeting card an Easter card if you had an egg die and then you'd done this behind the egg that would that would be lovely but I shall take some pictures of these on display and I'll have those at the end. But thank you very much for joining me today. And I'll see you very soon with another spring, summer or Easter craft. Take care now. Bye bye.